Hello world, this is Sean from the All Positive Network. I'm here to bring you positive vibes and life lessons. I'm doing this video a little late because I got this in the mail on November 8th. That's when the book dropped. The day is the, uh, I don't even know what today's day is. 20th maybe, I don't know. But I got this book uh, November 8th and I had it on pre-order since last year. See, here are the previous books. These are a hard cover. You can get the, the um paperbacks of them but the paperbacks come in two volumes and uh, i don't like that because you need have to it's like half of the book split to 1980 85 the second half 86 and 90 i don't like that I like on stuff like this so i like everything in one book i first checked these out from the uh, ecu library i like i want my own copy and uh, by then they um they, they, they weren't high in price then but now these like uh, 150 200 for these right here the, the, the hard cover these are hard to find Basically, it details each uh, film of the 80s, the most popular films of the 80s, and some, some hidden gems, but it doesn't detail every horror film of the decades. Like, in the 90s one, they're missing, um, there's uh, Nothing Out There, uh, the movie that inspired Scream, and uh, they're missing uh, a movie called The Granny that came out in 1995. They used to play that late night. Uh, what Showtime and Cinemax I used to look at, and those aren't in here, but um, they do have films like uh, Death by Temptation that, that weren't um, uh, mainstream popular, and it, it was including that. And these, you know, the 80s was the, um, the best time for the slasher films, uh, 81, and uh, 88 was a good year for horror films as well. And they detail the popular movies in here, but the, the main thing I don't like about this book instantly, and I, li I like the book, but. It was, um, it's big. Look, it's taller than the other ones. So now I have to rearrange the whole bookshelf. I can't put this on a bookshelf with, with the other ones. And so, then, so now I had to put this on a bookshelf uh, with, the, with the boxing uh, books and stuff. So I, I didn't like the way that was set up. Now, also, um, this is missing a couple of, of um, movies. Um, this movie called Dead Men Walking from, nine, from 2005. It was a zombie film that takes place over the course of a day in prison and it's missing dead heist it was a uh, uh movie about vampires that uh starred um uh big daddy kane was a vampire hunter and uh, uh e40 and uh earthquake made an appearance in it so that that was i thought that was a decent movie and uh yeah the way you use these books is that let's say if you want like you got, i don't i don't know what to watch so you, you pick a year you like let's see 2003. So it's on page 211. You pick a year and you're like, okay, here's a movie I've never heard of. Let's say you've never heard of Mothman Prophecies. I've heard of Mothman Prophecies. I saw that did. So you go to page 239. Mothman Prophecies. They'll give you their rating of it, critical reception of it. They'll talk about the cast and crew and they'll provide commentary about the movie. Now, you can read the comment, uh, the, the, the synopsis of it first what the movie's about and then they'll give you commentary about the movie now you can read the commentary if you want to but that's going to spoil the movie but i if it's a movie i haven't heard of then i'll just go and look at the movie from what the synopsis is and you know i'll go from there but um there, that's um let's let's see how these books work man these are great books i'm waiting for the you don't read these books from front to back you just pick you, you can go just go through them and, and um at your own pace and just jump all over. But uh, I'm I'm now waiting for the 2010 and 2020 book. <laughs> you know, uh, what, I, what I like this one right here. That's the only thing I don't like. I don't like is the um the, the shape of it because it's taller than the other one. So I had to change my whole bookshelf around it, and I couldn't just change the peg up in the shelf because I got so much other stuff below and and above it. And uh, where I had these at, but yeah, these these are definitely good books. Uh, to have it very expensive, you want to get to 70, 80, This book right here was 75 and it dropped it. Like I said, I had it on pre order for a year, but um, since last year. But uh, yeah, these if you can pick these up, you can also get an um, ebook of them for cheaper. Uh, they're selling ebook on Amazon, but yeah, I, I, I picked these up uh, as they were coming out and uh, something that I had to have. But uh, these are great books right here. And if you ever need some, because I, I hate when people log on when I was like, what should I watch? What should I watch, man? There's over 100,000 movies online, like 50 to 60 different streaming apps. No one should be asking anyone else what should they watch. You know, you got YouTube can tell you about hidden gems or horror films, and, and you got books like these. So 
get one of these books, whatever your favorite decade, and my favorite decade of horror is the 80s, and I did like the 90s, and, and the 70s, well, I like all horror, period, but uh, the 70s got a lot of hidden gems, but definitely in my 80s is my favorite, and I still go through it because I haven't seen every horror film of the 80s, but check these books out. If you can get the chance, you can buy them or check them out for you from your um, local library. That's all I have. I'm Rashawn from the All Positive Network. I'm giving you positive vibes and life lessons. Peace and blessings.